it's a response more than anything to the youth. I mean, we've, we've had an incredible amount of baptisms. I think since we've been open in, in five and a half years, we've had probably 240 baptisms and only about 15 funerals. And, and we have a school that just keeps growing. And so it's a response to what's going on. And I think we could either sit by and watch it happen or give it more opportunity to grow even beyond what we can imagine. Isaac is five and a half and he attends St. Catherine Drexel Parish and school. When we joined, we had many questions, and one was, are you going to have a school? And Jennifer said, yes, we are gonna have a school. So we were even, we were just thrilled, knowing that we were not only attending a church that was our home, but it was gonna be a place that our son was gonna grow and nurture his faith as far as the school was concerned. So we were pretty excited to hear about that and he loves it. He really enjoys St. Catherine Drexel and the teachers are spectacular. I have two children um, that go to the school. Um, my oldest son Radley, he's in Jump Start, which is in between preschool and kindergarten. And then my, young, or my daughter is in uh, preschool. And uh, to hear them come home and talk about God and um, have their own prayers that I don't even know um, and just to see what they learn in the school just melts your heart. It truly does and um, you know you have so much love for your children but to know that they're being raised in the faith um, that you've chosen for them is it's the best feeling ever. The involvement that we have from the parents is amazing. They are so giving of their time and talents and treasures. The kids are wonderful. We have a very caring staff our community is one of our strong points and will continue to be a strong point for us in the future. Well, I think a very good example is that after we put our stained glass on the Ascension on the west side, I brought, some, I brought the kindergartners down one day from, from the school and the first graders, and I asked them to, I, to explain the windows, and then the teacher went back and she had them draw what they remember were in those windows. And as you listen to what those kids would say in their class to the teacher and to me when I went down there one day, it was like, they get it. And, and our learning is always enhanced by the visible. We're sensible people and so, but it, plus it just kind of s slows down the spirit when you walk into a church with um, seeing us. It's not quite the bright, direct sunlight. And we would never tone it down so much with dark glass, but it just, kind of lets us just expire a little bit and we could say, I don't have to do anything here but be in the presence of God. When we got married, um, I went through RCIA and, and um, was um, confirmed into the Catholic faith. And ever since, you know, she would go to church with me and I would go to church with her, you know, I just knew right away that I was more than open to um, converting to the Catholic faith because I, the, the faith was just so deep and I, I just, it was great and I had no questions. And going through the RCIA process, and now we have our children in school, um, Father Joe, everything to do with this parish um, uh, has made our family closer to God um, in, in so many different ways, and it's just, it's just overwhelming. I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit will show me what I need to do. It's kind of a continuing journey since we moved here as to uh, praying to the Holy Spirit and saying, okay, what do I need to do next? What do I need to do now? And uh, every time, you know, it's not a, a quick comeback answer, but something happens that says, hey, Mike, Mike and Kathy, this is what you need to do. St. Catherine Drexel's is a huge part of our life. We're here probably five to six days a week, not only just picking my son up from school, but attending daily mass, um, and being involved with all of the volunteer opportunities. Jennifer always has many, many things that we can do and fulfill, and it's just wonderful to know that you're needed. And if you have an hour or two or a day, or if you can be more committed and, and join um, a group on an ongoing basis, you have that opportunity. So you really feel like you're uh, such a part, 
you're like in the heart of everything here and you get to know so many people and they become truly your family. When you come here, you know them, you know their faces, you know their story and you're just excited to be part of such a wonderful church with such a great faith-based community that's really um, bringing you closer to the Lord together. And it is, it's truly a big part of our life. We love St. Catherine Drexel. As I said, it is our home. Just recently, we had our silent auction for Father and they had the huge pizza party and my family was supposed to be gone that weekend. Due to the weather, we changed our mind and at last minute I asked Larie, I said, is it still possible to buy pizza? She said, yes it is, but we have maybe sold over 300 pizzas. I don't even know how many at this point. And my thought was, where is everybody gonna go? 300 people, we don't have a place to seat 300 people to eat pizza comfortably. And so it, it, was, um, it was an eye-opener, and I really hope that everybody got to see how we are in such a need right now. If we could build the um, pear center and gym and, and um, the school office, then we would have the lunchroom freed up and the school office freed up for classrooms for next year. We don't have big end givers, or as we say, we don't have old money. We have young money. We have people making a good salary, but spending most of it on kids in college and education and stuff like that, college debt and all sorts of stuff. But, but it, it, somehow it's happened and it's happened again. And, and I have no doubt this time the same thing will go on and happen. But the heart and the soul are there and the right people come along at the right time and it makes a lot of difference. It was during Mass when he was uh, seeking ideas of what we as a parish could do as a family. Um, what kind of things did people want brought here? And it's because he said, and that's what he said. He goes, We're brand new. We can do whatever we want. We can make this our church. And that's what we're doing. And I, yeah, I, I've been involved in so many things that I would have never have gotten involved with before, but it's because it's here. And, there, and it just feels right. It just feels right. When, when we first con you know, started to think about what we were going to be able to give, um, and you really thought through that. And we, we, it was kind of an unknown until that day when Father Joe and RSI challenged everybody to give an amount that you truly felt and you knew was gone after you gave it. And then um, for us it wasn't so much the amount, but it was the feeling of uh, satisfaction after the fact that we uh, had given, um, based on our situation, an amount that we really felt good about and we knew that it was going to such a great cause and for the fact that uh, for everyone that steps foot in this church and for generations to come we can say that we were part of that and uh, I mean that was one of the greatest feelings ever. And I guess this is a great opportunity to be a part of something bigger, to really put your stamp on your faith and to say, I help build this, I help be a part of this, and it's a little piece of me and it's gonna be here forever. It was really exciting, we really enjoy it. It's rewarding to know that, you know, again, we were involved and uh, to see everyone that came together and now that we have this, you know, truly magnificent church, it, you know, every time you come for mass, it's just, it's just great, it's very rewarding. I wanted two things when people walked in the door. They would say, this is a Catholic church, and the, I wanted the people to be able to say, this is our church. And I think everything we've done, and I would bet everything we're gonna do, the people will, we will be able to say, this is our church. Look what we did with lots of God's help. But, and that's, that's what puts me to bed at night well.